Yo dudes and dudes at your friendly neighbor Jack's Blade is back. For today's video we're doing part three of a video I did two years ago because I just I always said I was gonna come back to this series but I just never had a chance to but my friends actually reminded me to do it because we were all talking on discord and I was just like oh yeah that would be a good thing and they gave me like five characters to do and I just had a lot of fun like thinking oh crap that actually would be fun to analyze so uh, for people who are new here who don't know what I'm talking about watch these two videos before this one if you want to just get the details of what we're doing because I've already talked about 15 characters and basically this all stemmed from a question I got a couple years back on Tumblr when that was still a thing and it was basically like um, what are routines that if you attempted right now just as a human being in real life like what would happen to you and what would um, would you realistically be able to do it now it's different than would that work out in a sense because would that work out I do like a bunch of science and analysis and all that stuff but right now I just use my personal training brain and my years of uh, training clients and training people and just my experiences as well to look at like your character's training and be like okay oh you could definitely do this and then I rank it like out of like 10 of like how difficult it would be to accomplish but then there's like some things like I remember in the first video I talked about like how uh, Zoro's training is absolutely ridiculous like you just couldn't do it because you would die in real life just from he's fighting the fact he's fighting freaking mini King Kongs and stuff like that at the end and it's just like an average person just be done even if you're like the fittest person in the world like you just be done by that so it's just fun to go over I've gone over our all these 15 characters like I said before and today these five characters were specifically chosen by my friends and I was just like okay I'm definitely going to do this I'm going to have fun with it and uh, yeah let's just get right into it and by that way at the end if you have any characters you want me to do just put them in the description below I'd love to see like other ones because I love this series so much so this will be super fun to do so let's get right into it all right so let's start this off by looking at my boy John and Bravo because I want to give my boy some love <laughs> yeah okay so let's talk about this right now uh, I did a whole would that work out on Johnny Bravo a couple years back and uh, actually I think it's just hilarious because like of course there's Toon Force involved with it because he did just bands and in six weeks he was able to go from this to this but that's for my di other series where I measure like how realistic transformations are so he'll be fun to put in that later on but um pretty much all Johnny did for his workout routine was just uh, do these band workouts and then he like consistently did these resistant bands workouts for six weeks and was able to hulk up. Now the level of tension on these bands must have been absolutely insane to get him as I explained in the would that work out. So again, link above if you want to go check that out. But it's like after he did this band training, he just transversed over to... Um, regular gym training he just started doing like regular lifting just going like five six days a week doing normal bodybuilder or gym bro routine and like i said before with my other videos where i talked about it, like on a scale level of difficulty i probably put this at about like you know five right like you got to go to the gym you got to work out you got to lift weights and stuff like that and then you got to just keep putting in work in the gym to keep making results but the fact that it's a cartoon and he did all that with Toon Force and stuff like that so I mean you could make an argument that those bands like he had to be super insanely strong and that's why those bands gave him you know that look but if you're just saying like normal resistance bands if it was just the bands by themselves I would put it like at a like four out of ten but if it's like you're incorporating like not only bands but the the weight training and then you know all the other stuff he did then also the karate and stuff like that not dissing karate or anything like that but like he he sucks at karate to be honest though you know what Johnny is surprisingly really strong like he's able to like fold an alligator and stuff so maybe those bands did do some stuff to him like he is really really strong surprisingly but he is Jack so hmm you know what uh, yeah I would give this a uh, five out of ten I would honestly give Johnny Bravo's routine a 5 out of 10 because uh, if you have resistance bands you know that you can make it more challenging just with more tension and I explained fully in depth in my Johnny Bravo would that work out how to get the most out of them but that is just a thing I had to do for my boy to talk about also Johnny is not that great fitness well you know I should probably put him down to 4 because he made this practically his theme song if you like that song, go check out the video and tell them Jack's Blade sent you. Next up is the goat Netero from Hunter Hunter. And I know some people have been arguing back and forth that they say Hunter X Hunter or Hunter Cross Hunter, but no, I just call it Hunter Hunter. All right, that's the way you would do it. But uh, all right, so let's talk about Netero's uh, 
10,000 punch training. I also did a Would That Work Out on this. Like most of these I've done like videos on in the past, either Tough Like the Tunes, Would That Work Out, or just like mentioned their training before. So you can always go check on my channel for like fuller in depth things. But uh, if I was to analyze Netero's training by itself, like 10,000 punches, uh, standing in, you know, by yourself out there, the level of difficulty would be very greatly difficult. Like, okay, just to sit there and just be like, you know, and he also prayed in between too. So that is like, it would be very tiring to your shoulder muscles and just punching does work a myriad of muscles. But like me, I like I said in the video, I prefer to do like boxer style training, you know? Like when you're fucking going in like that, like that's my type of like punches. So like during a, a session, of like doing boxing or MMA stuff, like I don't know how many punches I throw, probably nowhere near like 10,000 or anything like that, but like when back when I was going to the gym, when before all this quarantine BS happened, like I don't know, I felt like I threw like a lot of punches in a day, stuff like that, so it really depends on how fit you are, and then like if you're just doing the thing, cause like what made it so hard was the fact that he would pray, strike, pray, strike, pray, and this would take hours, by the way, to like do 10,000 punches of this. Like it would take hours to do this. So I'm not making it seem like it's easy at all. But like, if you were to do that, it safety wise, I wouldn't say there's like any inherent danger unless you like over hyper extend your elbow. Like that's the only thing I would say like, okay, yeah, that'd be a bit dangerous. Also, if you don't, you know, know how to punch properly, you could throw your shoulder and hurt your shoulder. So that's not good, but um, by itself, because, oh my god, I'm, Max, you a good one for this, because I think it's funny that I get to use my personal training brain and analyze it, but, uh, yeah, I would honestly say, like I said in the Would That Work Out video, it is manageable if you, like, build up to it, because, like, there are tons of, like, traditional martial artists who do, like, thousands of reps of, like, similar things a day, and then they're just able to, like, do it effortlessly now if you build up to it. Now, I'm not going to say it's easy by any regard, but i probably put it at about, like, um... Yeah, seven or something like that. Cause like, yeah, honestly, I probably put this about like seven or 6.5 out of 10 because if you honestly build up the conditioning, like you just being human, there's no inherent danger. You just going in your backyard and doing that unless you're like worried about overuse injuries and stuff like that. So like, of course you have to build your way up to doing it, but it's not something that would just, uh, oh my God, I'm if I do this, I will die. I'm going to just be so incredibly in pain if I do this or something like that. It like, it's very tiring and it'll wear you out, but like you can most definitely build up to it because there are just so many people who do some similar things when you like read a ton of books. Like I read so much books on like traditional martial artists and other stuff like that. And then like there's a lot of stuff where I go, okay, that seems like it'd be more deadly. So I put this about like 6.5, 7 out of 10, to be honest. Yeah, 6.5, 7 out of 10. Like, because again, he is a beast and using Nen would be freaking badass and boss. But again, just what it is. Like again, you. I feel like if you've done one of those ones, then you get the feel of like throwing various punches. Also, like I mentioned in the video, is just be, uh, it'd be very itchy, you know, just out there all day, like with ticks and shit crawling on you. So that, I mean, that could add to the level of difficulty, but uh, yeah, that's my rating for that. Next up, Bane, my boy Bane. I'm not gonna do the mask rant this time. If you wanna know the mask rant is, just watch either of my Bane videos, but just do not show his mask, mouth people, do not show his mouth. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna get into that rant like I've done the last few times before. But uh, let's talk about Bane's training now. Now, Bane's training was pretty much him surviving in this area of a prison to be the beast he became. Like that was pretty much it. Like he had to first survive like entire nights like with water coming in, then he would meditate, then he would freaking like train himself with thousands of reps of pull-ups and push-ups and sit-ups and meditating, and then he would just consistently do this. Also, he would get into fights with other prisoners just to like show that his combat prowess was actually growing with his strength in mind. And so, yeah, and also like there was this uh, time, I didn't mention it, I'm, I'm remiss to say this, but there was a time when the comics were, after he got defeated by Batman, he let himself get really out of shape and he decided to like start training again using his mind and like he would swim for like miles in these imaginary seas just doing the motions and then he would also just uh, run thousands of miles just doing this in his mind, but he'd just be jogging in place and then of course he'd just still do his like push-ups and calisthenic stuff and then he was able to refurbish his body. So Bane is the goat of quarantine like training in that regard. But uh, yeah, I would say this one 
specifically because he's in a dangerous environment where like people are actively trying to kill him like he's fighting with like knives and stuff like that also the insane rep scheme of what he's doing like t doing a thousand pull-ups by yourself like there are world records for doing that but like he's doing it like a night and then he was uh doing like thousands of push-ups a day and stuff like that and of course like building up i always talk about like overuse injuries you don't want to get tendonitis or stuff like that but he was doing it and not getting those injuries so that just made him even more of a boss because he was doing all the stuff and then his meditation of just his visualization like that is incredible to put yourself meditating and to go into these worlds and you actually use the worlds to benefit you like running miles and you're able to like shred a bunch of fat and then doing all these swimming laps and you're able to stimulate your muscle fibers by doing it i think that is so freaking badass and cool so yeah bane's a go i love bane i i'm not gonna get on my rant again i love bane so much but um yeah, I would definitely put this at about, yeah, seven, yeah, seven, high seven, because, like, the thing is, for people who've seen this, some people may be like, only a seven, but it's just, like, I have seen what tens and elevens are, and I'm just like, no, 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 you would, you're dead, I don't care who you are, you're gone, like, it's, th that's pretty much it, like, that's what the thing is, like, so I would definitely put this at about a seven out of 10 because like it's very taxing it will work you your ass to death like honestly i put this like a 7.5 out of 10 to be honest because like there's just so much stuff that goes into it and plus training your mind in that regard is incredibly incredibly difficult to like master in that way and it's great when you finally get it down so i'm gonna put a uh, bane at about a 10 uh no not a 10 uh, 7.5 out of 10 or 7 out of 10 like I'm in between which of those I want to choose but yeah I would say that to Bane and Bane is just you know the goat all right next up the Teenage Mutant Ninja wait have I ever talked about them on my channel before I know I did that ab workout but like all right for people out there who don't know I'm a colossal Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan like I've seen every episode of the 1987 series all the way up to the Red Sky arc I've seen every episode of 2003 including freaking fast forward and back to the sewers Ugh. and then of course I've seen every episode of the 2012 series and I'm caught up on Rise by the way Rise has the best fight scenes out of all the series no cap it's like some kill kill shit like someone tried to debate me and say that 2003 had better choreographed fights I'm like bro you need to get your nostalgia goggles off your fucking head all right because I watched that entire series that I'm like I can do cross references I have both fresh in my head and just seeing this freaking god tier stuff it's just uh so I, I'm sorry I love TMNT if you follow me on my Twitter at Jack's Play Fitness you see how much I love TMNT but you know I don't think I've ever talked about TMNT's training shit you know I was like because I was going through the stuff and I was just like these were all ones reference and I was just like you know what I think I'm gonna do it all right oh, would that work out tough like doing yeah because I've been actually I got all the weapons now too oh my yeah you know what you know what yeah Expect a big TMNT video from me. Two of them, like three. Actually, yeah, two or three videos come from me because I am super excited now because I have all of them fresh in my head. So, this is good. This is perfect. So I'll just move on to someone else. Let me pick someone else from this list because they gave me like 10. I'm probably just going to do five. Also, I really want to say this. Uh, Shredder from the 2003 TMNT is the best designed Shredder I've ever seen. One of the best designed villains I've ever seen ever. I just want to say that. Also, 2003 is great for the first five seasons. Just don't watch Fast Forward or um, Back to the Sewers. Those ones sucked. And also, stylistically, I think 2003 TMNT looks the best overall. But I think a lot of people confuse uh, the, just because how great the character design is with how great the fight choreography is like when they say it's better than Rise in that regard because like here's the thing all right so I can tell you this fresh in my head you can even go look it up most of the TMNT 2003 fight scenes are this punch to camera person flies back huh? or they're just like fighting and they're like rock them sock them like one shot things and I know I'm ranting about TMNT but I love TMNT I'm passionate about TMNT but like when you compare those type of fights to what Rise is doing it's just absolute insanity how far people reach. Like, they're like some on Elastigirl Luffy shit. Uh, but yeah. You know what? Speaking of Luffy, let's talk about his training. Next up, Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. And my boy has been training hard his entire life, but like through fights and stuff like that. Because I mentioned before in my uh, video when I talked about Luffy and if he should be more muscular or not, uh, his training primarily came from fights later on that he got into. But like if you were just, you know, a human plopped into Luffy's training, like with Garp and stuff like that, yeah, you probably would die. I'm not going to lie. Because like there's just a bunch of crazy shit he had to do. Like he had to. Uh, get out of a pit he had to get down from like a balloon that's floating like ridiculously high from his body without like dying and crashing so this already puts it at like a level 
like I would put nine out of ten just from what he went through in his childhood. But then when he had to train with freaking Rayleigh, like I was like, nah, like you're dead, bro. I'm sorry. Like as a human being, you would die just in that scenario. Just like, oh, there's a freaking giant elephant squash. Oh, there's a giant leopard eating. Oh, there's this. Like it's like the same thing with like what Zoro did. Where I'm just like, no, no, no. Like, there are some parts where it's just like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But if you were just a regular person, like not One Piece augmented, like not like, oh man, well, I'm built different, bro. I'm a <coughs> fucking dead. That's what's happening to you, bro. Because like that's, I'm just being a completely real. If you like got dropped into a cage with a gorilla and you tried to like body that thing, like Harambe or something, I'm recipes. Like, you would just get folded so freaking bad. Like, that's just the honest case of the matter. So, Luffy's, I would put it at a 10 out of 10, to be honest. Because his training on that island, like, us humans, we just don't have those powers yet. But it's just that whole notion of, oh, man, I'm one of the fittest people on this planet. All right, you ain't fitter than no damn bear. All right, you ain't fitter than no damn gorilla. Let's just be real, all right? I'm sorry, that's what it is. So Luffy's training, I'm definitely gonna put at like a 10 out of 10, uh, just cause it's ridiculous. Especially um, his prison training. Like his prison training would be a lot more manageable because technically it's just strongman work and I talked about that in my Luffy would that workout video of what how beneficial that is to do. So, you know, go check that out again. But uh, yeah, it's not anything that's like, oh my God, this would be like so dead. Unless you're trying to lift the heavy ass rocks Luffy lifts, like that's just, pretty much it but like yeah um definitely saying luffy's a 10 out of 10 when it comes to his type of training that he went through growing up because you would die that's just the honest that you would just be massacred so freaking badly <laughs> I actually have like a few more they gave me, but I might save it because I wanna, there are some characters I'm gonna be doing in future videos that I wanna talk about then first, and then I'll talk about like them in a video thing. But uh, I think this is just a fun way to cap off the video. So if you see, have a character you want seen or want me to like analyze like, oh, what would a human in real life, would they be able to handle this or would this just be like your dead thing? Then let me know, this is my baby series. I love it as along with um, would that work out? and tough like tunes and uh, what was that? what's my other baby series my other series where I like analyze like the bodies of characters and how realistically they transform like I just think that's super cool uh, yeah like this is just along the lines of those series from my channel that are just my babies I love them so much and I would always do them my best justice so uh, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite one is and uh, yeah thank you for watching remember like I always say uh, hit that subscribe button I upload as often as I can like just had some personal stuff come up with uh, thank you everyone who sent kind messages I really appreciate that and um, yeah this thank you for watching and thank you for all your support like you help keep me going especially when things get rough in life but I uh, uh, really appreciate it and remember like I always say keep calm booyah on and don't forget moment I and if you made it this far in the video type in Luffy Beast yeah, Luffy Beast, because I think Luffy the Beast, like hashtag Luffy Beast, it just makes sense, sorry, because Luffy is a beast. We already know Luffy's a beast, so there you go. All right, keep calm, Bouillon, don't forget, moment tie. See you in the next video. Peace.